As the foundation includes five modules for the design of spread footings, strap footings, combined footings, wall footings, and pile caps. To create a calculation, just click on any of the buttons corresponding to the module that you want to open. For example, let's create a calculation for a spread footing, assign a name, and then the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click, and this is the template for the spread footing design. The template is divided in two panes. The left pane is for the input information, and the right pane is for the results. In the geometry tab, you enter all the geometric information, such as the dimensions of the footings and the column. In the loads tab, there are two options. The first option, you specify a single set of pre-combined loads in service and in factor. The second option is a set of nominal load cases as dead life, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. And in all of them, you need to enter the actual load, the moments in both directions, and the shears in both directions. In the material tab, you enter the material properties for the footing, for the column, and for the soil. In the reinforcement tab, there are a number of controls to, to specify the rebars in the footing and in the column. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. Here you can see immediately if something is failing or if everything is passing, as in this case. The condensed tab shows a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic for load combination as uh, overturning calculations, one-way shear, sliding, punching shear, uplift, transfer, or the flexure design, column design, etc. In the detail tab, you see a more detailed step-by-step -step set of calculations, also grouped by topic and by load combination, with all the information that the program internally calculates, so you can follow all the calculations step-by-step. -step. ADIP is not a black box, so everything is transparent in this version. And finally, in the graph tab, you see graphically your design. In the soil bearing tab, you see the bearing pressures at the footing, in the one-way shear, you see the one-way shear calculations at a distance D from the column face in both directions. In the punching tab, you see the punching shear calculations at a distance D over 2 from the column face. In the bending tab, the bending calculations at the column face in both directions. In the column tab, you see the interaction diagram of the pedestal. And finally, in the construction tab, you see a elevation view, a plan view of your footing with the rebars. If we go back to the project manager, let's create a calculation for a strap footing. Double click. This is the template for the strap footing design. In the geometry tab, you enter the dimensions of the footing and the strap beam and the column dimensions as well. The loads tab, similar to the previous module, you can specify uh, pre-combined loads or a nominal set of load cases and the program internally will combine it. In the materials tab, you enter the material properties for the footings, for the strap beam, for the columns, and for the soil. In the reinforcement tab, you can specify the rebars for the footings, for the strap beam, and for the columns. In the right pane, in the at a glance tab, you see a summary of the results. In the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic, exterior footing, interior footing design, the strap beam design, uplift calculations, sliding, transfer to the column. In the detail tab, you see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with references to the ACI code and the controlling load combinations, so you can follow all the calculations as well. And finally, in the graph tab, in the soil bearing tab, you see the soil bearing pressures. In the diagram tab, you see the shear diagram and the moment diagram for the whole system. In the columns tab, you see the interaction diagrams for both the exterior and the interior pedestals. And finally, in the construction tab, there's an elevation view and a plan view of the design strap footing. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a combined footing. This is a template for uh, the design of a combined footing. In the geometry tab, you enter the dimensions of the footing and the columns. In the loads tab, similar to the previous modules, you enter the information of the loads. Materials is the material properties for the footing, for the columns, and for the soil. In the reinforcement tab, here you specify the rebars for the, the combined footing. At the right, in the at a glance tab, you see a summary of the results in one screen. In the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic, sorted by load combination, overturning calculations, 
footing an exterior column, footing an interior column, longitudinal reinforcement. In the detail tab, you see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, exposed formulas with references to the ACI code. Finally, in the graph tab, in the soil bearing tab, you see the soil bearing pressures under the combined footing. In the diagrams tab, the, this is the shear diagram and the moment diagram for the whole system. In the columns tab, the interaction diagrams for both uh, pedestals. And finally, in the construction tab, a plan view and elevation view of the combined footing design. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a pile cap. This is the template for the pile cap design. Here you can specify the number of piles from three piles to 20 piles. And uh, the layout is predefined, as you can see graphically here. Here you specify the batter piles, if any, and you can enter the information on the pile cap on the column as well. In the loads tab, similarly to the previous modules, the materials tab, you enter the material properties for the piles, for the pile cap, and for the column as well. In the reinforcement tab, you specify the rebars for the pile cap and for the column. In the right pane, in the at a glance tab, you see a summary of the results of your design. In the condensed tab, you see a more detailed set of calculations, group by topic. In the detail tab, a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with references to the ACI code. And finally, in the graph tab, the pile reactions tab shows a uh, plan view and elevation view of the pile cap with the pile reactions sorted by load combination. In the one-way shear tab, you see the one-way shear at a distance d from the column face. In the punching tab, you see the punching shear at a distance d over 2 from the column face. The bending tab shows the bending moments at a column face in both directions. And finally, the construction tabs shows an elevation view of the final design of your pile cap. Active Foundation includes really useful modules and features to help you with your daily design tasks. If you are interested in the software, please download the free 15-day trial visiting the website www.asdipsoft.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.